Um, this is a demo on how to create a slab box, uh, just a general cube slab box. So here's an example of a, a previous unit uh, piece, and it's a slab box that has a lid that comes off and a key. So I'm going to show you quickly how to do this process. To begin with, we're going to roll out slabs of clay. And again, one of my favorite smoothing tools is a credit card. So I've already rolled this out on my slab roller. And I'm going to take that credit card and smooth the surface. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the back side of the piece. For this project, we have a template. So this is a five inch template and you're going to create six five by five inch slabs for this project. I suggest that you might want to make a seventh as a backup piece. So um, think about how many of these will fit on your slabs and you can roll multiple slabs. You don't have to roll a very big slab. So I'm going to take my fettling knife and I'm going to cut out the slab. And I can probably fit another one on here too. Now, um, unlike a coil pot where you really want soft plastic clay, it doesn't hurt to have clay that is a little bit drier. So stuff that you really wouldn't want to make coils with, but really kind of works better for slabs. So I am not going to roll out all six slabs, but um, let's just assume I have six. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to bevel the edge. And I'll show one in front of the camera, and then I'll actually show an easy way to do it on the corner of the table. So we're going to take our fettling knife and we're going to approximate a 45 degree angle. So um, I'm just kind of guesstimating this. I'm not taking off any length, I'm just taking off a little 45 degree angle. And this is going to make sense um, when you start assembling your box because 45 plus 45 equals a 90 degree angle. So it's going to get you a, a square cube. If you don't do the beveling, um, what will happen is your piece will become a rectangle. So that's one way. If you feel really confident with just shaving off a little you know, bevel of clay, the other way is taking your clay slab moving it to the edge of the table. And what you do is you just slide your fettling knife. And I'm just going to do this right here. Just kind of cut towards your thumb. Turn this. Cut towards your thumb. Notice I'm not taking off length. If you start taking off length, you're going to get a rectangle. You want to keep these in squares. I'm going to do this again. So either of these ways are great to get off that approximate 45 degree angle. So you can see it's not perfect, but we're going to melt this box together and wish it and we'll get it square. So the next thing we'll do is we will take a fork, one of the best tools for scoring, and we're going to start scoring up each edge. Um, actually, before I get started, I'm going to show you how that 45 degree angle works. So now we put these two together and it comes together in a nice 90 degree angle here. So fork, score, and we're going to do that to all six pieces. And notice that this is really rough scoring. It's not pretty, it's not just little knife marks, but it's really, really scored up. So I'm going to grab my other four slabs, and we're going to start to assemble this piece. Um, one thing I'm going to do first is I'm going to roll a few really thin coils. We're going to use these to reinforce our edges. All right, and I'm going to set that aside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab slip, you put a little on your fork or use it on your with your finger, and I'm going to cover all the sides with slip. You don't need a lot, you just need to get it generally covered. And then I'm going to start with my back wall. I'm going to lean that in. I'm going to press my edges together, kind of work them together. And then I'm going to get that joining coil 
and I'm just going to put it on the inside, press it down, and I really want to blend this into my piece. I don't want it to see the coil hanging there, but I want to see a curved edge. And we're going to do this to each piece that we put on. So I'm going to turn this, put a little bit of slip on here. And then I'm going to put this next piece on. I'm going to pinch the edges. And I'm going to push that edge into that piece in the bottom. And I'm going to take that joining coil again. And this is like a weld. It reinforces that, that corner so that you don't get cracks. And now you can see I have to turn it like this. And I do another coil right there. Smooth it in with your finger. Now I'm going pretty quickly, so I'm not spending a lot of time doing great craftsmanship uh, to show you really quickly in this demo, but now we've got our next piece to put on. So again, slip, put on the edges, and we're going to slide that into place. The box will go through what I call a Frankenstein effect. It'll look really bad for a little while, and then once you get it put together, it'll get a little bit more strength, and you can kind of pound it on the table and square it up. So now we're ready to put in a few more joining coils. So these coils, unlike the coil pot, uh, don't need to really be all that symmetrical or beautiful. We're just using them as a reinforcing tool. Flip this down, holding up the top. If you don't, it's going to sag. But it's easier to kind of put it on its corner on the table to reinforce those join coils. And then we're going to do the next side. Probably switch that one for this one. Again, more slip. One of the things I do want to caution you about is that if you should have all these slabs the same consistency or wetness, if you put together um, your slab box and then you forget to do uh, a side and you roll a brand new, really wet piece of clay and put it on, you may have difficulty with your slab box um, cracking on the edges. So it's best to probably roll, roll out and create seven sides uh, so that you can do the six, but if you, you mess up on one, you've got a seventh one to, for backup. So now for the top. Um, we're gonna put that top on. And um, the one thing you're gonna notice is that we can't naturally put a joining coil on this. So we're going to actually open this up and we're going to put it in afterwards. All right. So now the top is on. I'm pinching and smoothing those corners together. And again, this is kind of roughed out. And I'm going to refine it later. But you want to get all those edges kind of melded together. And at this point, you can start turning that box around, giving it a little pound, and you can choose any side to be your top at this point. Okay, so the, again, this is roughly put together, and now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my lid. So it seems like where where you know shouldn't have you done the lid earlier, but actually the easiest way to create a lid is to create a hollow form and then cut that lid off of it. The one thing you're going to have to put in this is a key, and a key is a notch. 
that helps you determine where your slab box lid goes. So we have a notch here, we know it matches up here, and we put it on. Um, so we just have to figure out how to put that in. So what I like to do is take my, my thumb, and you can make a variety of keys um, that can allow the lid to easily release. So this would be an example of a corner key. You could do something like that. You could kind of make a mouse hole type of key like this. You could do the opposite. You could do a square key or squared key like that. Um, this is an example of what not to do. I'll move it to another side. You can't do something that is going to, it's pretty fancy, be like this because when the clay gets fired, it's rigid. So this key will get caught in this piece of clay. So you want it to be just simple and easy to release. So I'm just gonna go with my corner key that I sketched out. Sketch it out with your thumb so you have a line to follow with your knife and then take your fettling knife and holding your blade really um, level, you're going to cut. Make sure you're cutting all the way through. Okay, so we're going to gently wiggle that lid off. And you can see that we've got the joining coils on the inside of this. But when I took the lid off, I can see that I have no joining coils in this top piece. So you always have to make sure that you, when you remove the top, to add the remaining four joining coils. So let's go ahead and do that now. Again, uh, just roll a piece of clay. And you're going to just blend that in to that inside edge. And after you get done with that, you're going to work on sort of finessing your form. I would recommend that you refine it before you put your uh, decorative techniques on in your design. But this is just your basic foundation for a slab box that you could put any sort of imagery on. All right, two more joining coils. And we'll be done with this part. Okay, so again, roughly put together for the demonstration. We expect this a lot more refined. There's the corner key. And now this is uh, your finished slab box. So work on your refining and good luck on your designing.